guys, back again on the Phase Movie Storyline channel. How are you guys? I hope you are fine, always healthy, and also smooth sustenance. This time we will review a slightly different film. The film, entitled The Robbers 2, will tell about a terrible exorcism whose information comes from Thailand. And the form of this demon is almost exactly the same as Jenglot in Indonesia. It is said that this demon often causes terror that makes its victims commit mass suicide by hanging himself, so as not to spoiler at the beginning, let's intro. The film begins by showing a drug courier who is under the influence of the devil hanging himself. Then it is explained that this Thai devil legend is a devil who is often worshipped by drug dealers so that they are always safe and also not caught by the police, but without being caught by the police. They realized, if the influence of this demon will make them themselves into a black circle and lead to mass suicide. Not long after, three people who worked as exorcists tried to bring down the hanging corpses. But accidentally one of them named Huo was actually possessed by the demon. Luckily at that time the teacher was responsive and immediately rescued. But the demon actually entered his teacher and made him lay helpless, because the demon's power was very strong the teacher asked Huo not to run away and accepted fate while giving them a talisman necklace that would protect them. Suddenly the teacher was dying and a strange sound began to appear which we can see if the voice comes from the Jenglot statue and suddenly. Luckily they were able to grab a rope and make the corpse controlled by the demon die a second time. But in fact, it turned out that the one who attacked was the teacher who had been controlled by the demon. And the film had just begun. Sin then moved where there was a courier for prohibited goods preparing to deliver the goods. But in the middle of the trip he was suddenly hit by a swarm of flies that made him fall. When the courier woke up, he saw someone who had been hanging from a tree who turned out to be himself, out of fear he immediately fled, however, his legs were unable to move and eventually died hanging from the tree. Samantara. <laughs> Meanwhile in another place there are several teenagers recording, which is none other than the younger brother of the courier who previously died hanging. Unbeknownst to them, what they were doing made the chair girl angry, and began to attack them without exception Sarah who was almost possessed. Luckily at that time Huo came and helped Sarah, so the chair girl was successfully removed. <laughs> Huo scolded the three of them. Even hit the camera. However, Gray, who is the owner of the YouTube account, did not take it seriously. Sarah then followed where Huo went, intending to return her amulet necklace which was accidentally dropped. And he also asks for help so that he can become a normal human because the advantages he has make him feel uncomfortable, with visions of the existence of demons. But Huo refuses to help Sarah, and the conversation doesn't last long because Sarah gets a message from her aunt asking her to come home. So let me explain a little, guys. Since the death of his teacher Huo quit his job of being an exorcist. And he refuses to live out his destiny as master's successor. Huo knew because he couldn't save his teacher at that time. <laughs> Hmm? 
In short, the next day arrived, the body of the delivery courier was found. However, when the corpse was lowered it was as if he was reluctant to lie down. And still standing upright one of Huo's friends who was following in his master's footsteps immediately cast a spell on the corpse. And immediately the corpse lay down, after overcoming the corpse he then went to Huo to ask him to do the Sung Ku Yi dance to ward off evil spirits. Because if it is not done then it is possible that the Tai demon will rise and cause terror again. Huo, who is still steadfast in his stance, doesn't want to help his friend, even though he knows that his friend is currently in a bad condition. Before leaving his friend told him that what happened to his teacher in the past was not Huo's fault. At that moment what he saw was not the teacher but a demonic figure attacking them. While in another place the courier's wife came to the hospital to see her husband's body. She also began to cry hysterically and lament the fate of her husband who is now dead, but suddenly. <laughs> Aunt Sarah who was frightened immediately ran away from the hospital. While Sarah is alone at home. Seeing his uncle sitting at the dining table he was indifferent to the appearance he saw. But seemed to be invited to enter a room. But suddenly he fell, and hit the chair that was previously used to summon the spirit of the chair girl to be included in the video. Sarah then grabbed her cell phone, she saw the shadow of her uncle now right behind her, but it's a lie. Because there's nothing there. This incident scared Sarah even more. And suddenly... Sarah ran back scared. And he hides in the cupboard. But the terror didn't stop there. To the point of making Sarah scream hysterically in fear. His aunt who had just won Sarah. And said if uncle wouldn't hurt them both again. <laughs> Long story short Huo's friend is getting ready to do the Sung Kui dance. But when the ritual was about to be opened he was unable to do so, due to his poor health at that time. The fateful Huo came to take Zen's place and perform the Sung Kui dance. All preparations were complete and the ritual dance was immediately performed. In another place, Sarah's aunt, who found an item of her late husband, went to the ritual area to give her the statue. Even though according to their belief, the family of the victim was not allowed to be present at the time of the ritual because it would lead to a disaster. Sure enough when Aunt Sarah finished giving the shards of the statue, suddenly he was in a trance, Huo immediately took care of Aunt Sarah and luckily it was still not too late. While at the same time, Gray, who was there at the time, was busy taking videos that he would upload to his YouTube account, without paying any heed to the bands of several people present. So <laughs> long story short, although the ritual was continued, but not long after the police came to arrest them all. Because he was suspected of having taken evidence that should have been given to the police. Huo and the others tried to stop the police. If the rope is carried away, then the disaster will not be resolved. Yes. His name is also dealing with the police, they can't do anything. In fact they were all taken to the police station without exception Sarah and her aunt. However, the aunt and Sarah were finally allowed to go home. While Huo and his colleagues are still waiting for the mayor's guarantee so that they can be released soon. Before Sarah went home Huo suggested that Sarah wash her aunt's face with spell water. So that all the evil spirits that are now residing in her aunt's body can leave immediately. But when her aunt's face is rubbed with spell water, what happens? 
我帮你擦一下脸。He just rages because he feels the excessive heat. Sarah was even more frightened when her aunt's voice became very scary. Her aunt's steps suddenly stopped when she was about to finish Sarah off, as if someone was deliberately blocking her. Did not finish there the aunt then banged her own chin on the floor. Besides, who knows who did it so that he was dragged into the room. Sarah tried to catch up but the door locked itself. Sarah then peeked through the door which without realizing it from behind her reflection in the mirror was walking towards Sarah. But again there is a Huo who helps him. <laughs> then Huo came to Sarah's aid, by casting a spell she was able to unlock the locked bedroom door and seen his aunt was preparing to hang himself. In a semi-conscious state her aunt asked Huo to help immediately, because she was already in a lot of torment and suddenly... <laughs> Not yet responsive enough to deal with the demon. Huo told Sarah, that the only way to heal her aunt was only by death or by removing the spirit that resided within her body. Although there is actually an extreme way of course it is very dangerous if the implementation does not go according to expectations. That is, simply by entering the spirit world and bringing her aunt's spirit back. Sarah who has the determination to heal, she is ready to carry out the ritual. All the equipment is now ready, before starting Huo advised if anyone who calls him later don't look back. Because if that happens then woe to them, because the devil will be even more vicious. Finally the ritual took place. Sarah has now entered the other dimension, she can't help but see her parents are also there. But Sarah didn't really care and went back to looking for the whereabouts of her aunt. Not long ago he actually met his aunt and took her home. But before returning Sarah's parents called again, and reflexively Sarah looked back. As a result, despite all the efforts he has made now it is all in vain. Something even worse had now happened to her aunt. After staggering, then looked at the glass and reflex his aunt stabbed a piece of glass right into his neck. Sarah immediately helped herself and was taken to the hospital. At the same time Huo was also there to visit Mr. Mazen. Accidentally met Sarah. Sarah then tells if the ritual she did before failed and made her aunt like that. Feeling guilty about what happened to her aunt, Sarah immediately went away crying. Huo tried to calm Sarah and comfort her. He even told her about his past, where he used to be like Sarah, always alone and haunted by fear. But because it wouldn't change fate. Wo finally decided to fight that fear, and he became what he is now. What made me touched from this film was Sarah's crying until her snot came out guys. <laughs> Meanwhile in another place, the person who ordered Uncle Sarah to deliver the goods came to the place where Uncle Sarah had hanged herself, to look for the whereabouts of her belongings, but she could not find them. Then he saw as if there was a shadow of someone in his car. The person confirmed who was behind the car but suddenly. <laughs> He must die because he experienced the same thing as Sarah's uncle. That is, he died by hanging himself. After the death of the owner the goods in a different place. Gray is happy because seeing his YouTube show is very clear because it reaches 1 million viewers in just one day. But when he zoomed in on his cell phone screen, an apparition was caught and suddenly...
He also died in the car. Long story short, the next day arrived. Wo was visited by his assistant and told him that the tree that always took its toll would now be cut down by the mayor. Wo rushed to the spot and told him not to cut it down. Because that would make the mess even more crazier. However, because according to the mayor, the tree has already killed too many victims, the felling is unavoidable. Even until the roots have been destroyed. Then we will see if under the tree many snakes inhabit it, not only that there is a chest containing a green cloth and a statue of a jenglot. While shouting Huo said that the statue was a Thai devil statue and it was he who buried it a few months ago. Before being buried under this tree, the jenglot had already claimed many lives. Even the teacher himself had to die because of the devil's actions. After explaining that now the workers and they gave the statue to Huo, then wrapped it in amulets and then carried it away to nowhere. Meanwhile at the hospital, Aunt Sarah woke up from her sleep and walked to nowhere. Sarah continued to follow where her aunt had gone which turned out to be her heading to a run-down building which at the beginning of the film was used for mass suicides. Suddenly, While in another place, Mr. Monson began to realize something thanks to the writing previously written by Uncle Sarah. Where the devil actually wants his spirit to be reincarnated into a human by collecting seven souls. What he found he immediately told and immediately looked for Sarah's whereabouts in the hospital. And he accidentally bumps into a man whose wife is about to give birth. Strangely, the wife of the man smiled strangely. Wo continued by using his sight ability. He rushed to the building and he was sure that Sarah was there. Moreover, finding Sarah's cell phone lying just like that, Wo immediately entered the room and found Sarah's aunt who was already hanging. But fortunately at that time he could still be saved. Perhaps the Wo will perform the final rites. But suddenly, <laughs> Sarah who had been influenced by the Taiwan ghost stabbed her in the back. Even Sarah managed to put back the pieces of the statue that had been brought by her aunt. It did not end there because this time Sarah herself would carry out the process of hanging her aunt. Because it had previously been thwarted by Huo from the demon's influence. But what happened he was actually possessed by a very terrible demon and now he started attacking Sarah. Sarah who is in a state of urgency to recite the spell that Wo had taught before. And he managed to make the Wo bounce. In a semi-conscious state Wo told Sarah to immediately take the Sung Kui sword and must immediately stab himself into the sword. Is the sacrifice that has been made Huo succeed? In fact not, because this time the ghost actually revealed its true form when it was there. Not only its form but the stone that has always been worshipped by dealers has now been destroyed. A few days later, Sarah came to visit her aunt at the hospital to pick her up. He is currently also undergoing a profession as before as a controller of destiny or can be called a shaman. Has the terror been wiped out until here? We then moved to the hospital again. There Gray's sister confirmed the body of her brother and he also brought his brother's belongings. As a result, we see together, Gray's sister also has to die hanging. Meaning the terror is still not over and will definitely continue. Maybe get here first. Hope you guys are entertained and see you in the next video bye bye.